I'm obsessed with the sound of the clicker, you know, the turn signal. I want to make a song based on that. So we start with that, we start playing the car, and then we start driving the car, and the car starts hitting things. We're making a video for OK Go, uh, and the concept of the video is to take all of the instrumentation that would traditionally be associated with recording a song, guitar, bass, drums, and replace those traditional instruments with ones that we're inventing. We're building a sculpture of musical instruments. We're gonna put this sculpture in the desert and we're gonna drive a car through this sculpture and the interaction of the car and the sculpture is what is actually going to play the music that is then transformed into the song. We've done a lot of pretty crazy videos and um, in a way it makes me feel at home doing something that's totally ridiculous. By my calculation there's just under 450 drum beats in the song, so you have to build 450 things and spread them out from here to a mile and a half away. This specific brand of impossibility, like, that's totally new to me. So we have this all mapped out, we have the song all laid out, we can find the, the bar it's happening in, the second it's happening in. Once we have the finalized version of the song, that'll all go, all go onto our map. This group of people we're working with has been amazing because you have really, really talented builders, you have really, really talented uh, acoustics people. There's actually some engineers from Chevy who are helping us work the car and figure out how best to attach to it. This is the beauty shot. Each one of these arms is all on a, a control inside the car, so the band can actually be controlling the arms going in and out. Each one of these hits a certain instrument. Oh, yeah, I'd say this is probably the most high-risk video we've ever done. This is uh, this is where band trust comes in. 